Hello all, my name is Joe and in this course I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV and games. If you find this helpful please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos and don't forget to check out my website 3dassetlibrary.com for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also if you find this helpful please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games Right, so what I'm going to show you next is how to create a dense cloud and then explain the differences between a dense cloud and depth maps. Um, so what a dense cloud will do is we've got, as you see, lots of gaps in our mesh here. This is going to create a denser version of this to uh, almost, it will look like our final object, but it'll still be lots of um, little points. Now a dense cloud is often referred to as a point cloud as well and can be exported directly to programs like Houdini and things like that. So if you're a particle effects or a special effects artist in those areas, that may be handy for you. But um, I, what I'm going to do is we're going to set up our dense cloud um, uh, process our dense cloud and then I'm going to show you the difference between a dense cloud and a depth map. So what we'll do is we'll right click on our chunk, process, build dense cloud and then what we want to do is so we'll set this to medium, obviously the higher the quality um, the, uh, obviously the higher the quality it is um, but the uh, longer uh, it'll take. Um, generally medium works well um, obviously depending on the amount of detail you want um, you know that's really up to you but we'll set this for medium because it's just a hammer you know and um, drop down the advanced tab and make sure that your settings like this by default they should be um, so what we'll do then is then just minimize that and press OK now depending on how many photos you've got how complicated your object is the time will vary on this um, this can take anywhere from saying six minutes here to six hours depending on how complicated your object is so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video and wait until this is complete and then carry on so once the um, processing is finished, as you can see here, we have a very different model now. Um, if we click on tie points, that's what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. So it looks a lot more like our final result. And um, you can see here, a lot more detail. But if we zoom in, you can see here that it is still points, but it's a very dense version of what we had. So it's generated a better quarter, better quarter, better quality um, version of our mesh. Now, um, in the next part, I'm just going to give you a very quick explanation of the difference between a depth map. As you can see here, it's generated our depth maps versus our dense cloud and um, uh, the sort of subtle differences that you may get. So let's move on to that part. So when you generate a mesh, which we'll be doing um, in the next section, what you get are two choices, um, which is a depth map or a dense cloud to basically extract the um, final mesh from. So we've created, as I say, previously we created our dense cloud here, which is all these little points, and um, we've also got depth maps now. Depth maps here, from my understanding, are it's looking at our images. So if we um, just to show you, so we've got our original images here. If we press this uh, little icon here, which is like two uh, rectangles, and we'll get our depth maps which have been created. Now, from my understanding, um, it's kind of common sense is that the program's looking at it and how uh, the detail in an object, how deep it is in the world, how, you know, the depth of um, it is from the camera. So you might get a, a crack in here, which would be slightly farther away from the camera than the main handle. And it tries to construct in the image there um, our, our depth maps and then put it into our 3D mesh. The dense cloud is um, lots of little points here and um, yeah, you can see it's got t tons of possibly millions of little points that's generated this image here and um, all this this mesh outline essentially now I found that generally depth maps work best for me and what I'll do is I'll start with a depth map and look at it Am I happy with it? If yes, then I'll just stick with a depth map If not, then I'll move to a dense cloud now a dense cloud can extract a um, more detail from the mesh um, But sometimes it can add a lot more noise. So you might you might in the examples a bit later on, you may see this um, in the mesh itself. You might get lots of bumps everywhere, um, but you 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 might want the extra detail in it and have to smooth that out, you know, later in uh, uh, down the line when you're exporting your mesh, etc. Um, but as I say, depth maps generally are useful for me. I believe that um, most programs contain depth maps or dense dense clouds. Um, I think the majority use dense cloud. Um, from what I understand, or they have potentially different names, so point clouds, etc. Um, but as I say, generally, I use de dense depth maps um, on the highest setting um, because it just seems to work for what I want to do. But dense clouds can be brilliant um, also for extracting more detail from objects. So it really is um, 
trial and error on your behalf because what may work for me on my objects might not work for you and um you'll get a the more it's it's like everything the more you follow this the more you do this the better you'll get at um knowing what's going to work for your uh, image sets so what we'll do is we'll move on to the next part